Hello, and welcome to another episode of Delilah Place. I'm not quite on top of the world, but I'm high up, and that's enough for me. So, if you're wondering what in the world I'm doing this high up, I am planning today that I'm going to go ahead and set some wool out and figure out exactly where I want things to be for Perennia. Now, I... I've cleared some area. I haven't cleared a full amount. My base is going to be kind of on the outskirts of Perennia, so I'm not too concerned about fitting in. Um, but I'm thinking I might have some outskirts stuff here. I might have some um, farms, farmage of some amount over here. I still need to clear over here as well, landscape that a bit, clear this, landscape that a bit. I want it to be at least large enough to to look like it could be part of a city or is part of the city, but I don't want it to be so big that I burn out on working on this. So I'm kind of thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to just lay out some wool for where the main, um, where the president's house would be. I think you're cuz Perenia. I'm not, not Perenia, Piavant. Piavant has President Guth, I think. Perenia has a king. Um, I'm not doing Perenia here, though. But I'm thinking I'm just lay out some general, like, this is where the main place would be. This is where roads would be. And just so I have a rough idea of what I need to work on, where I want things to be kind of figure out, oh, this is a no-go zone, you know, that kind of stuff. So the, the thing I'm already struggling with is for something like this, I should not be completely and utterly filling in everything. And that is the thing I really want to do is I want to fill in everything. I'm actually going to momentarily pause. Hope nothing shows up there. And take that. <laughs> um, but, like, I need to fill things in a little bit without actually fully filling it in. And for me, that that is a hardship. I want to fill in all the little nooks and crannies. I want to make it so that nothing can spawn anywhere. And that's just not practical. I only have so many dirt blocks. So I'm going to be trying... To, to do this the, 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 the right way, I guess you will. I'm going to take coal because I could always use coal right now. I have not gone heavy deep mining in a while. And I, I need resources. <laughs> and I am not afraid to pause and take in my resources. Okay. As I was saying. So I can't... As much as I want to fill in all the little gappage things here, I really can't. I really shouldn't. I only have so much dirt blocks. I have only so much of this type of a resource. So I'm going to need to to do the hard thing for me. Oh my goodness, I want to go exploring down there. I so want to go exploring down there. I can't tell. Is there something moving in the dark? Yes. Oh, okay. These are fun. Um, I really want to explore all the things. I want to do all the things, but I can't. And someday I'm probably going to really regret filling this in and not like, I don't know, putting stone or something. <gasps> oh, I almost went in. <laughs> Gosh, that'd be a great start to this. I'm going to do this in kind of a layered zone, though, just so that way if I'm over over here and I don't remember that this was here and then there's a creeper and things go boom that you don't want to go boom, I don't go blah and, you know, all that. You, you know how it goes. You, you've heard my sound effects by now, guys. You, you know that that's just going to be a thing at some point in time, even though I'm going to try to avoid it. This is a good start. I'm going to go ahead... No, I'm not, not going to do that yet. But this will go ahead and do a bit of. I'm going to leave some of the natural terrain just because, I mean, it's the natural terrain. They're not going to smooth everything out. But 
I feel like they would do a good amount of we need our things here and they're gonna be nice blah 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 city 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 proper 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 um, so we'll do some of that just not a lot of that again there's like so many resources I have at least right now maybe someday I'll come back once I'm working on other cities and come over here and finish things off but for now I think we'll try to we'll jump into time lapse we'll, we'll lay down some wool kind of figure out our path maybe oh you know what? I think it's a chancellor is it chancellor for Piavant? I think it's chancellor um so we'll we'll put the chancellor's house down there maybe and have some sort of epic thing for that and build a city hall or something proper building-esque-ness up here and yeah so I'll jump into time lapse and lay down some wool and we'll go from there yeah I think that sounds like a plan Okay, I finished this stuff. So let me quickly show you around what we have here. This is what I'm contemplating is gonna be like a chancellor hall that's gonna go into like a meeting room of sorts. Cause you're gonna have in a city, of course, all the fancy things and all the the stuff that needs to be discussed and things to be voted on and whatnot. I maybe will add more this way as far as chopping down trees, smoothing it out, making a another residential area. I looked it up. It's not President Gutha. That's from a different city of um, terrain that I'll be doing later. So this is not President Goose's place. This is Chancellor Brissetti, Bertoli, something like that. So this is the Chancellor's house. Let's go with that. <laughs> um, and so I'm going to have it be theoretically like we'll have a layer, maybe another like half layer here. I ran out of wool. So that's this will be the, like the Chancellor's house though. And then I'll probably clear some of this and make like a field or garden or something. 
these white blocks like this are part of the road. And so that way we will have a road going from the hall down to the Chancellor's house. And then this will be like the main road of the city that's going to go all the way up there. So we'll have that. And then we'll have a little side road over here where we'll have some fancy well-to-do's. Well, we'll see how fancy, depending on how fancy I build. Um, another couple fancier to do builds over here. Over here will be for the normal folks, um, normal houses ish that'll theoretically kind of go along here. We'll have along the main road. Da, 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 da. Over here, I'm thinking we'll have like some shops of some sort. Um, this might be like a little stable because I mean you're driving over you're driving <laughs> you're riding your horse over to work or something so you know you want to park them there and this will probably be some sort of like little food shop because I mean you're going to snack during work I'm thinking I need to do farms over here so this will theoretically become a melon farm to some degree the blocking isn't the exact dimensions for the farms because to be perfectly honest <gasps> I've never made a farm before. Never done anything with redstone. Never done any of that. I have no idea how much space I need. But this will be roughly where the melon farm would be. Theoretically, over here will be an iron farm. Theoretically, over here, we'll maybe try doing a copper farm. Because I'm going to need a lot of copper for what I'm contemplating, at least for... Piavant here because they're they're a very steam tech based city which honestly might mean where I'll build some stuff here and then I'll have to wait and move on to another city area to work on for like I don't know Arugo or Doldra or somewhere and as I get more copper come back and finish working on Piavant I really don't know but over here will be, I think, like the airship yards because, I mean, they're steam tech based. They're known in the books for they have big airship areas. They have big ships. They do a lot of work on them. And I'm thinking up here would be perfect for a landing platform for airships and anything. We could have, you know, maybe an airship here in the dock, have a couple other docking port areas for them and just leave it at that. And I actually haven't explored this way at all. So I'm just going to come take a quick gander and see if there's anything worthwhile for us to know about. So that's what my current thought is. And I mean, it's it's going to be a lot. And I really don't know how well I can do it all. So it's just going to be an adventure. Ooh, swamp. That's useful. Um, I might actually, let me think here, if that's Piovant. Maybe I'll do last sim somewhere this way, but again, that's going to be a lot of potions and things I'm not going to be ready for. So I'm not sure where I'm going to put stuff aside from what I have here for Piavant. Um, it'd be kind of fun actually to build the hollows out here, but the hollows are supposed to be in a desert salt mine, which I suppose this is close enough to desert salt mine, so why not? Um, but I need to figure out a good... I need to figure out what city would be the best one for me to build for my current what I have, what I need. Um, because, again, I don't have a lot of copper right now. And I'm going to go mining and see if I can get some more. But there's certain materials I don't yet have. So I, I need to be conscientious of that as I work on this. That some things just aren't going to be entirely feasible quite yet. Um, if you guys know of any great, easy iron farm things, let me know. I would be very happy to look into those because I don't know what I'm doing. But the rest of this is stuff I can start working on the build right away. So I don't really want to go into another time lapse and have like multiple time lapses for, for this episode. But you know what? I think we're going to have to. Because I kind of like the idea of trying to get this build done soon. Just so I have something concrete for this area. That, or I might work down here on the Chancellor's house. Or maybe I'll do both. I don't know. But I'm thinking that's going to be our next step. 
And from there, then I'll probably have to go resource gathering. And maybe I'll take you with me for that. Maybe I won't. I'll, we'll see. That's actually a question of itself. Leave a note in the comments. Do you like going resource gathering with me? Do you prefer that I just skip it all and go straight to the good stuff? Or do you like to do the fun things and then you get to hear me rambling and rambling and rambling and rambling? What What's your preference? You're the viewer. I'm going to be doing it regardless, but you're the one that gets to tag along with me. So tell me what sounds good to you guys so I know what I should incorporate or not incorporate in this. That would be very helpful. But let me get ready and gather some stuff up to prepare for this. You guys, I just had a thought. With what I'm thinking of doing for this, I want dark prismarine for the roof. And I don't want to go get dark prismarine. I don't want to have to figure that out. I don't want to have to go searching. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. But I figure I'll at least do the walls. Because that's what I can do. I have regrets. <laughs> oh man, I have regrets. <laughs>that means I definitely need to be mixing in deep slate more if I do a full block how much will that actually cover over here how much mm, even that little sliver might work honestly that's not the worst of ideas that I've come up with <laughs> Possibly not the best, but not the worst. Um, granted, I'll need to then blend that up even more. <sighs> okay. Let me try doing this here with y'all. And then I'll maybe jump into a 
time lapse. I apologize if you hear the cat door constantly. That's my cats running in and out like crazy hooligans. Okay, that, that I think has some strong potentials. Okay, <laughs> I, I need more copper for that. Oh no, <laughs> I need all the things for this build. Oh, this was supposed to be the easy one of everything too. No, no, not easy. Okay, I need so many more resources. You know what would be really nice? If I had scaffolding, but I have not seen a jungle anywhere yet. That's, that's goals. Finding a jungle. That would be so lovely. That would be so ridiculously lovely. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and just, actually, can I do that? Yeah, I can. Do, nope. This is what I need. <laughs> Dork. I need that. And we'll go ahead and take this part out too. Right? Yeah, because I need to change all those anyways. Blarg. I am not referencing anything right now, and I really hope I'm thinking this correctly. I think I'm thinking correctly. <laughs> Which... To say I think I'm thinking correctly gives me sudden strong college vibes, and you know, I really don't want to go through that again. Oh, wrong side. I need to go on this side. College vibes during math finals. Oh, goodness. No, thank you. Been there, done that. guys I think that's gonna wrap it up for today I did some of these changes and I'm, I'm trying this out I'm not sold on it but I might try doing some like inner molding stuff with the spruce logs I was originally thinking oak because that's what's in the area but the oak when I tried it just didn't look so great so I'm trying this out I might have to play around with it a little bit more and see if a different tree color would work better in which case I'll add that to my list of things to go hunting for considering I really need to have dark prismarine for the roof 
And I don't have any of that, and I don't have any way to make potions yet to go make myself a farm for that, and I don't know what I'm gonna do. So, I figure this is where I'll stop for today. I might come back later, and maybe later on I'll do, like, the flooring and get some glass windows in. Maybe I'll add another layer right there. Um, get that stuff kind of done and just do everything but the roof since I don't have to worry about rain and mold and these type of things. And then once I finish all this building, all but the roof, then maybe I'll start on the next, which I'm gonna call it. Or I'll go mining because I want to do something relaxing. I'm not sure yet. But either way, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the new adventures and the new music. Thank you, Dennis DVK, for that. And I hope that you'll have a lovely week. See y'all later. Bye!